Hawk, one of nature's most deadly predators. I'm talking, of course, about snails. Tourists spotting a beautiful shell at the beach may pick up a cone snail without realizing it's dangerous. If you like picking up pretty seashells when you're at the beach, or even just paddling in the tropical seas, you'd better know what to look out for and where. Because as soon as you dip into those warm ocean waters, you've entered cone snail territory. And if you're in cone snail territory, you better be looking out for shells that look like this. Scientists have calculated that a single geographer cone has enough venom to kill 700 people. If a person is unlucky enough to be injected with a cone snail's venom, they are in grave danger. The tip of the proboscis harbors a hollow, harpoon-like tooth, which serves two purposes. First, it penetrates the flesh of the fish and delivers the venom. Then, its harpoon-like tooth hooks into and tethers the fish, preventing it from escaping while the fish suffers convulsions from the venom. Paralysis sets in within seconds, allowing the snail to reel in the helpless fish and eat it alive. But what's most impressive about them isn't their toxicity. It's how they're at the forefront of cutting-edge research into potentially revolutionary new medicines. That is what this series is all about. How these killer snails are being used to develop killer cures. I'll see you in the next episode, if you want to survive.